In this video, I'll be using an example to show your earned value analysis using Microsoft Project. Now, in this example, we will be assigning resources to tasks in order to generate your project cost and your baseline cost. Now, the example that I will be using is the same example that I've used in a other video named Example 3, Earned Value Management from Task Level to Project Level where I explained the different end value management formulas and how to interpret the results. Now the link to this video is in the description box below. Now in Microsoft Project, that we will follow the following steps. Step one is where we're going to assign resources to tasks. Then in step two, we're going to go to options and switch off the actual cost are always calculated by project. And the reason is we're going to add our actual cost in Microsoft Project, and we're not going to use a system to calculate our actual cost. Step three is we're going to set some earned value options. First one is the default task earned value method. We're going to set that to percentage complete. And we're going to set the baseline for earned value calculations. In step four, we're going to set our project baseline. Step five, we're going to set our project status date. In step six, we're going to add our project progress. That's going to be the percentage complete and our actual cost up until the status date. And then in step seven, I'm going to show you some earned value tables and earned value report. Now, the example that we're going to be using is got task A to task F with our durations. And then we've got the assigned resources. So we've assigned John to task A. B, D, and F, and we assigned SAM to task C and E. Now, just quickly, what uh, Microsoft Project is going to do, let's just look at our assigning of resources. So, if we assign John to task A, the duration of task A is two days. John's hourly rate is $40 per hour, and he's working eight, hour, uh, eight hours per day. So, it's 40 times 8 times 2 is $640 is our cost for task A. Let's just look at task B. Again, John is assigned. It's 40 times 8 is 320 times 4 is $1,800. So Microsoft Project is going to calculate our, the cost exactly the same as this with our budget at completion at $4,800. Now, as part of the progress, Determine the status of the project after six days. And after six days, our percentage complete for task A is 100%. Task B is 75%. Task C is 50%. And then task E is 50%. And the actual cost up until the status date for the project is $750. For task A, that is up until uh, the end of day six, $100 for task B, $500 for task C, and then $350 for task E, with the actual cost total of $2,600. Now let's open up Microsoft Project. So in Microsoft Project, I've already set up our band chart. For task A to task F with the duration, and we've prepared our Gantt. And then in our resource sheet, just going to click on the resource, resource sheet, we've got John and Sam. John $40 per hour, and Sam $50 per hour. So let's just go back to our Gantt. I'm going to click on task, Gantt chart. And now we're going to assign our resources to our specific task. So I'm going to click on task A, keep in control on the keyboard, task B, task D, and task F. And we're going to assign John to these tasks. So let's go to resources, assign resources, and we're going to assign John, assign. And John was assigned to task A, B, D, and F. Now for task C and E, we're going to assign Sam. So we're going to click on 
Task C, keep in control on your keyboard. Task E, and we're going to assign Sam. Assign, Sam, assign. So we've assigned Sam to task C and E. And by doing that, our cost has been calculated, as I showed you in the previous slide. So we've got our cost per task, as well as our total cost of $4,800. Now let's just prepare some settings. I'm going to go to File, go to Options. And then under Schedule, just scroll down. Just check that your actual cost are always calculated by projects is unticked. And that your edits to total actual cost will be spread to the status date is ticked. So that is when the actual cost is spread up into the status date. So, OK. Now next. We're going to set some end value options for the project. Again, click on File, Options, Advanced, and then scroll down. And you see we've got our end value options for the project. Where you select the file. So by default, it's a file that we are working in. The default task end value method is percentage complete. You can either select percentage complete or physical percentage complete. So we're going to select percentage complete. And then the baseline for earned value calculations, you can select the baseline. Baseline 1, 2, 3. So we're going to select our baseline. So we're going to use the baseline. And I'll show you that now when we create the baseline for the project. And that is what's going to be used for earned value analysis. And say OK. Now before we set the baseline, let's go to project. Project information. Start date is 18th of March. I'm just going to put the current date also the 18th of March. So, OK. And under project, we can now set our baseline. So you can click set baseline and you can select which baseline you want to be set under. So I'm just going to select baseline from which the calculations will be done. So, OK. Now we can go to our gain chart format and we can go to baseline, select baseline, and then we'll see the baseline on our gain. Now let's select the status date. Now the status date is after six days. So we can go to project, project information, and we can set the status date. So we're going to set the status date to 25 March. Say so, OK. So now by default, you can't see the status date yet. So let's go to can chart format, grid line, select grid line, go down to status date. What's the type of line that you want? We're going to make it a dotted line. It's going to be black. And say so, OK. And there's our state to state. So the end value calculation will be done from the start up until our state to state. Now let's add our progress to the project. We can go to view, table, and we select our tracking table. So this is our default tracking table. Now we're going to add our percentage complete, our milestone. I'm just going to add 100%. Task A is 100%. Task B is 75%. Task C is 50% complete up until day 6. And then task E is 50% complete. And then our actual cost up until day 6 for task A it's $750. Task B is a thousand dollars. Task C is five hundred dollars, and then task E is three hundred and fifty dollars. So that's our progress to date. Maybe just to show you a trick as well to navigate between our different tables, 
on the left you can right click we can go back to our entry table where we started or we can go to our tracking table that's the same as clicking on tables now we go to our earned value tables i'm going to right click here on the left hand side more tables and we've got our earned value table we've got our earned value cost indicators and our earned value schedule indicators so first we're going to select our earned value say apply and here we've got our different earned value calculations that was done starting off with our planned value which is 3220 that's our planned value up until our status date and you can also see the planned value for the different tasks our earned value that is calculated from the percentage complete 2400 for the project and for the different tasks and our actual cost as we've typed into a microsoft project it's a total of 2600 dollars then it calculated scheduled variance to be minus 1120 meaning the project is behind schedule as well as our cost variance minus 200 meaning our project is over planned cost then our estimate at completion remember we started off with our budget at completion at four thousand eight hundred dollars currently it's projecting our estimate at completion to be five thousand two hundred dollars and we've got a variance then of minus four hundred dollars so budget at completion four thousand eight hundred with our variance at completion minus four hundred dollars so it's five 1200 minus 4800. Let's just have a look at some of the other earned value tables. Again, right click, more tables, our cost indicators, apply. So, this is all our cost indicators cost variance, cost variance percentage, cost performance index, again, our budget at completion, estimate at completion variance at completion and our two complete performance index showing 1.09 meaning the project is harder to complete and then lastly our earned value schedule indicator apply so that's our schedule variance schedule variance percentage and schedule performance index that shows our project is 32 percent behind schedule and then lastly the reports you can also create a default earned value report click on report cost and value report so this is the default earned value report and then you can also change the information on the earned value report and then lastly in the example 3 video of which the link is in the description box you'll see that we've got our earned value schedule indicators and I explained the different formulas as well as our cost indicators explaining the different formulas and the interpretation thereof for the example that we've now also used in Microsoft Project. Now if you like this video give me a thumbs up or you can subscribe to my channel for more project management related videos.